for some full tournament fun for the 2021 US Open. We're going to play a rapid fire contest, and in that first matchup, make sure you take John Rahm. John Rahm has five top 10 finishes in his last seven starts outside of the Memorial Tournament. For the second matchup, make sure you take Dustin Johnson over Bryson DeChambeau. DJ's been in great form as of late, and you can't say the same for the big hitting DeChambeau. He has one top 10 finish since March, and his last three major appearances, he's finished outside the top 30. If you want to spice up this rapid fire contest, make sure you go and take Patrick Reed over Brooks Kepka. Kepka's missed three out of his last four cuts, and as for Patrick Reed, he's finished in the top 13 in his last three appearances at Torrey Pines for the Farmers Insurance Open. Not to mention, he's got one victory in those three appearances. For the fourth matchup, make sure you take Will Zalatoris. The kid has a knack for playing in majors, three major appearances, three top 10 finishes, and a top 10 finish back here at Torrey Pines in January. For the final matchup, make sure you take Xander Shoffley. He finished tied for second his last time out at Torrey Pines in January, and he's never finished worse than a tied for sixth at the U.S. Open. To get things teed off on opening day Thursday for the U.S. Open, we're going to play some day one contests on Monkey Knife Fight, and the first contest that we're going to look at is a more or less contest with Phil Mickelson. And Phil Mickelson just needs to win the U.S. Open to complete his career Grand Slam. Lefty couldn't be in a better place to do it. He's won three times before at Torrey Pines. So make sure you take less on his total stroke line to start the week. Make sure you also take less on John Rahm's scoring line. He leads the PGA Tour in average scoring and shot 18 under through just three rounds at the Memorial Tournament before being yanked for COVID regulations his last time out. So you know he's going to have plenty of motivation coming into the 2021 U.S. Open. Open. We're going to take a look at another more or less contest for the opening day of the U.S. Open, and we're going to have to take more on Brooks Kepka's total stroke line. Kepka has missed three out of his last four cuts since knee surgery in March, and Torrey Pines is not the course that you want to go into not feeling 100%. As for Bryson DeChambeau, we're going to have to take more on his opening day scoring line as well. U.S. Opens, and especially Torrey Pines, are notorious for having thick, thick rough. DeChambeau sits 178th on tour in driving accuracy, hitting less than 55% of of his fairways. It's going to be tough to shoot par if he's hacking in the thick stuff all day long. That's why we're going to have to take more on his scoring line. Folks, head on over to Monkey Knife Fight right now. Lay some money down and good luck. Don't forget to like, comment to hold me accountable, and subscribe. Folks, I'm Connor Roundtree, and remember to hit it hard.